Good evening, Council. Uh, and thank you very much for taking your time, your, your precious time, to do something that's not even in your direct control to help us out. I'm going to go with pictures. I'm not good at a lot of words, so. So I'm representing the interests of, of growers, uh, kind of selfish as one biological species here. But we spend a lot of time on the river early in the morning and sometimes late at night, a little bit in between. So we really have a sense for how gorgeous and how fabulous this resource is for us. I'll also say thank you for whoever thought of putting this statement about lights, uh, containing lights at this facility. It's very hard to control these things. I mean, you're in the dark with big industrial lights. Uh, we've had such, uh, the, it turns out the Petaluma River is one of the best venues for rowing in California. We've now built up in a very short time a big regatta in October where we track crews rowing boats like this. That's from Cal, it's one of the best crews in the country. As a matter of fact, a high school student from Casa learned to row with our club and is in Cal's varsity right now. So things can happen with this. Um, in our race, we need a spot for three of these abreast to be, to be uh, racing. Here's a picture from the race this year. Uh, what you see is some world-class athletes. Three of these people represent the United States in Beijing two weeks before this photograph draft was taken. Two weeks after this, they're in the biggest regatta in the United States in Boston. So Petaluma, you think Beijing, Petaluma, Boston, we are on the map for Rome. <laughs> and that's because of, you know, it's one of these anonymous local things. We've got 50 volunteers to put this on. Ten of them probably work for three months, you know, for free to make this happen. It's building up. Then we hear about an asphalt plant. So, you know, we pull out the EIR, and I'm looking at how does this affect the river? Well, here's a little drawing. It's the only drawing in the EIR we could see that depicts the barge and the river. Um, now, I'm a professional civil engineer. I know maps. So I did my own Google map. So there's a top side view of the river with the bars. Now, I just see in the draft of the river, you're covering this, or of this uh, letter to the county, so thank you. So when we put the picture of this barge on top of the river, all of a sudden you see it's not just innocuous, it's blocking half the river. And this doesn't even show the tug that goes with it, and all the <coughs> other things that happen. Standing back, oh, and by the way, we see, oh, it's got a pointer. Um, here's a nice public observation deck that was built. This is all Schulenberger here. Um, and one more. And standing back a little bit, here again is the proposed bars, the 50 by 200 feet, 125 with up to per year. This has to, oh, oh Darla has provided. <laughs> <laughs> Darla, if you can fill out a speaker card, card. okay. okay. I got it. Um, this bars has to approach from downstream, it comes up. It's a quite a process to moor these things, and there's all kinds of sedimentation when the, the, the big maneuvering has to take place. If we look a little farther upstream, we see Shamrock, and here's a couple smaller barges put there by, there's ever an anchor tent in Petaluma, <laughs> it's Jericho. They've been really good working with us. How are they going to get barges up there? I used to be a naval officer at one time. But anyone can tell it's a kind of a narrow, tricky uh, maneuver here. Um, and as far as our regatta, which has taken us three years, we would not be able to, we'd have to cancel it if ever a barge were here. You can't get all the rowing boats, the people going down to the start of our race, and any public craft. It's just a bottleneck. This is one of the narrowest parts of the river. You know, Shamrock and Jericho, they're using it's a much wider spot. But this is just how they can get these things in here. And we asked the county about it. We asked, has the Coast Guard been consulted on this? We were not authorities on this. No, we haven't heard. The Coast Guard wouldn't be consulted until way down the process. So thank you again for asking that be dealt with upfront right now. So to answer your questions, we're concerned about the effect on commercial navigation, especially a hometown company. And from our own things, athlete safety, we want to meet. If they're going to operate barges, we'd like to meet with them once a year so we can exchange what we need to exchange to be on the same page safety-wise. And we'd like 
And we ask that the date be set aside when we would tell them three months in advance we'd like one Sunday per year with no bars at that corner so that we can keep bringing people, bring 600 athletes per year to this regatta right now. So it's, it's no small thing. The, the river is just a gorgeous place. One last thing is that we have had a taste of breathing these, uh, these uh, interesting fumes. There was a, demo, or a smaller asphalt plant, as you know, near the Caltrans property on this side of the 101 bridge. We rode through there early in the morning. It, you couldn't hold your breath long enough. It was just screaming with noise, and the fumes really are incredible. So thank you very much.